What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the best settings for FPS in the Lunar Client. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start with 1.7 visuals. I'm gonna enable that and turn on everything. I'm pretty sure it's turned on by default so you should be fine. So the FPS tab basically just shows you how much FPS you have. Now into the CPS, this is of course the CPS. I like to turn it on because for me, uh, the keystrokes, the CPS is kinda small and I don't really like that, I want it to be like really big like this. That's what I like. Now Skyblock add-ons. This is just basically the add-ons you have for Hypixel Skyblock. So this is basically just toggle sprint and toggle sneak, you should probably know what this does. So if I turn on toggle sprint, as you can see, I'm sprinting without pressing my sprint key. And if I press it again, now as you can see, it says key held. Now I do not want to use toggle sneak on Hypixel because it is bannable. So be careful where you use it. Okay, basically this is just the Optifine Zoom, which has a bit more settings to it. So we've got toggle zoom, so you can toggle zoom on and off. Now into the high pixel mods, what I am using is auto GG. That's pretty much it. I use these two, but these are by default turned on. I recommend you turn on auto GG. Now in high pixel bed wars, if you're playing bed wars, make sure colored beds and hardcore hearts are on. So basically what this does is when you lose a bed, your uh, hearts become hardcore. So basically, they have a different texture to it, to them. Now turn on as well height limit. You just want to turn on height limit and height limit block. Now coordinates, I don't really use them, but this is basically it. It just so it just shows your coordinates, which is pretty useful in survival and scenarios like that. Day counter, day counter. This is pretty much if you're playing a hardcore world, you want to know how many days have gone by or you are recording a video so this is basically proof how many days have gone by now crosshair this basically just allows you to customize your crosshair I'm using bedless noobs crosshair for Godbridge so waypoints this is very useful in survival faction those servers because it tells you where you have been and shows a big beam which goes into the sky Oh, and I also forgot potion effect. This is basically just this. It shows you the duration of a potion you have. Now, as you can see, you can also exclude potion effect. So let's see uh, speed. It's not gonna show. Strength. There's a lot of stuff it won't show. You have direction HUD. Okay, so this is useful for UHC. Uh, Hunger Games, Survival Games, basically the same thing. It just shows you where you're looking. Now, potion counter. This just tells you how many potions you have. I think it's probably used for pot PvP or something like that. Ping, pretty simple. It just shows how much ping you have. Uh, pack organizer. Basically shows incompatible packs. So if you want to use an 1.8 pack on 1.16, it will show you that's incompatible or the other way around. Now chat, this just basically shows some cool animations for the chat unlimited chat as you can see so basically it just adds an animation as you can see now basically this shows you basically it lets you to edit the tab now I'm on a single player world so I cannot really tab because I'm not on a server but basically it just lets you edit the tab so like use pink color for row you can display pink as a number or not you can make pink a different color you can add a lot of stuff name tags this mod allows you to edit your name tags, for example, name tag, text shadow, third person name tag, and a bunch more. Uh, Nick Kiner, this is basically um, what you see most YouTubers use. So basically say you, as you can see, you, you, you. Everything that says you. Now cooldowns, this basically shows some cooldowns which are pretty useful. For example, a pearl cooldown, if uh, a server has um, a pearl cooldown when you play PvP. Basically, that shows you it. Clock, it will just basically show the current time. As you can see, 1 p.m. Now, memory usage, this basically shows you your used memory. So, mine is 
this is combo counter so basically when you are comboing someone it shows you how many times have you hit them without them hitting you reach this play pretty simple shows your reach now time changer so basically you can set your time to whatever you like or you can use your real current time which is also kind of nice server address shows you the server as you can see mine is single player item physics so basically this is when you drop something and it'll drop kind of cool like spinning like that and it'll land flat that's basically what it is uh, TNT countdown so this is mostly used in high pixel bed wars so if you place a TNT it will show you the exact Time it will explode in shiny pots this is basically just the enchantment glint block outline as you can see mine is red you can see right here so you can customize the color the width everything free look so this is now banned on high pixel I don't know why and if I press C I can go into toggle perspective just like that back display shows you which pack you are currently using Hitbox shows you the hitbox of an enemy or yourself. Now let me go into the settings. So the settings are really what you want to do. So the settings are mainly for FPS. So I'm going to tell you the best settings for FPS. So you can leave all of this on. You can just copy these settings. Now you want to basically turn on all of the cosmetics. Now brand and color. You can basically um, set your own lunar client logo color so i set it to yellow yellow goldish pretty much so you can copy this so you can go over to here and type in f f f f a a zero zero and you'll have the same one as me now what you can do is you can hide digging particles and hide foliage so basically this is foliage it will give you some fps but i will not recommend it if you are dying to have some fps then use it so high digging particles this is basically this these particles you see my personal preference is i like to keep this on so it hides it now full bright turn this on if your texture pack does not really have full bright turn this on because it will help you so much and it will just make the game look so much better now hide end portals never how much it will help you to turn this to lowest or even to off put this to lowest because it will give you the most fps so if it does not lag to you when it loads put it to off or vanilla because it just loads the map so much quicker so as you can see if i put it to two and i'll put it to nine as you can see it loads pretty much instantly so shadow you want to turn this off because what the shadow does is if i drop an item it will produce a shadow but I just recommend to turn it off because if there are a lot of items your FPS will suffer a lot and you might even drop to 50 FPS or even lower now for tile entities you want to do show ground arrows and show stuck arrows and you want to leave this to normal entities and tile entities you want to put this to low let me explain you a bit more what this actually does so for example let me spawn in a zombie okay so here he is if I go far real far okay right here he will stop rendering so basically what this does is how far will it actually render players and entities now if you have a good PC you can set this to high or medium I set it to high because I really want to see in Bed Wars where someone and tile entities you can pretty much set them to lowest or to medium it's up to you of course the best fps will give you low or lowest so basically guys hope this video helped you if it did leave a like and subscribe for more videos like these and if you want me to do a menu or video settings one i will gladly make it so i hope you enjoyed Hope it helped you. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.